Apple. We haven't talked about Apple in a while, but they have Shout they're having baby. their worldwide developers conference um in California. And mm -hmm. um today's the day. We have a representative out there. <laughs> Shout, Shout out to our guy, guy, man. Shout out to Mike. On, on, he's on the ground. Shout out to Mike. So okay. Are we gonna show some video or yeah, let's put out some some of the let's video. Show the video. Yeah. Okay. There you have it. People love Mac Virtual Display because it lets them bring their Mac wirelessly into Vision Pro just by looking at it, giving them a large, private, and portable 4K display. Later this year, it gets even better with higher display resolution and size. And it will be expanded even further into an ultra-wide display that wraps around you, equivalent to two 4K monitors side by side. Your content stays sharp wherever you look, thanks to dynamic foveation performed on the Mac. Next. I want to talk about a feat that some may have concluded must be a mathematical impossibility. That's right, we're bringing a calculator to iPad. Now it's changing the way you do math with a feature we call Math Notes. I get to it by just tapping the new calculator button right here. And with my Apple Pencil, I'll just start writing out expressions like I would on a piece of paper. As soon as I write an equal sign, Calculator immediately solves it for me. It's dope. And even shows me the results in handwriting like my own. When I make a change, the results update live. And I can go beyond basic math with all of the same functions from the scientific calculator. Apple Intelligence is the personal intelligence system that puts powerful generative models right at the core of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It protects your privacy at every step and it is deeply integrated into our platforms and throughout the apps you rely on to communicate, work, and express yourself. Siri users make 1.5 billion voice requests every single day. 13 years ago, we introduced Siri, the original intelligent assistant, and we had an ambitious vision for it. We've been steadily building towards that vision. And now, thanks to the incredible power of Apple intelligence, we have the foundational capabilities to take a major step forward. So we can make Siri more natural, more contextually relevant, and of course, more personal to you. Apple intelligence unlocks incredible new ways to enhance your writing. Whether you're tidying up your hastily written class notes, ensuring your blog post reads just right on WordPress, or making sure your email is perfectly crafted. Let's use mail to take a closer look at how the system-wide brain tools can help you communicate even more effectively. Rewrite gives you different versions of what you've written, so you can choose the one you like best. Now, you can change the tone of that response to your colleague to make it sound more friendly, professional, or concise. In addition to mail, you can access writing tools system-wide, nearly everywhere you write, including third-party apps. Apple Intelligence also powers smart reply in mail. For example, when you need to RSVP to an event, you will now see suggestions for your response based on the email. If you say you'll be there, mail identifies questions you were asked in the invite and offers intelligent selections so you can quickly choose your responses. Your drafted response incorporates your answers. So with just a few taps, you're ready to send it off with all the right details. We all deal with sorting through a ton of email every day. And now it's easier and faster than ever to browse your inbox. Instead of previewing the first few lines of each email that don't always convey the most useful information, you can now see summaries visible right from your email list. So without even opening the email, you'll know that your team is meeting on Thursday to discuss a new design. And if you jump into a particularly long email when you're in a hurry, you can tap to reveal a summary at the top of the email and cut right to the chase. Let's start off with AirPods, which are the most loved headphones in the world with an incredible audio experience. This year, we're making it even easier to interact with Siri for a seamless, hands-free experience. For those instances when you may not want to speak out loud in response to Siri, like on the bus to work, or in those places that are a little too crowded, we've created the ability to simply nod your head yes or gently shake your head no to interact. AirPods are also perfect for staying in touch with friends and colleagues by taking calls anywhere, even in windy conditions, 
or places with loud background noise. So to ensure your voice will sound crystal clear, no matter your environment, we're bringing voice isolation to AirPods Pro. With the popular photos face, there is something special about seeing an important person or moment every time you raise your wrist. Now watchOS 11 will help you find the perfect photos for your watch face. Machine learning intelligently identifies, scores, and curates the best photos based on facial expressions, aesthetics, and composition. Then, a custom algorithm elegantly frames the image with the time. You can select a bold color, choose monotone for a sleek look, or create something that is unique and personal to you. Siri determines that ChatGPT might have good ideas for this, asks your permission to share your question, and presents the answer directly. You'll be able to access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. Your requests and information will not be logged. And for ChatGPT subscribers, you'll be able to connect your account and access paid features right within our experiences. For so uh, Apple's a company that we haven't spoke about in a while. Um, what what's the deal with this situation? Um, I, this is their day to make their big AI announcements. They also announced um, updated software, of course, for the Vision Pro 2. It's been a year since the Vision Pro was announced. The product hasn't done as well, but the software looks pretty amazing. I'm excited to see the integration with AI and Siri. Uh, they're like unveiling the Siri 2.0, which I'm excited about. Um, and despite it having a rocky year, Apple opened up at 187.15. They're at 194. They are like clawing back out of some of the mistakes they made from earlier this year. The stock price is looking pretty damn good. And then they should end up at the year, maybe like at 205 ish if everything goes according to plan. So um, I think they heard a lot of the criticism. I think they were a little bit late for sure on the AI mm -hmm. wave, but I think they're punching back and clawing back um, some of those lost opportunities. You know, um, I know everyone was wondering if Apple was going to fall permanently. Here we are clawing back. They have found a way to adjust and the stock has reflected that. But I think today is like the updates for what they have for the future. They have a bunch of great shows coming out. They have a movie about the fake moon landing <laughs> about on blackout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I think it's it's gonna be a a moment that turns the tide in a positive way and they start to recover and push up higher from here. Yeah, so we got I mean it's the most important and it felt everybody felt it. You can feel like this is the most important development conference, and they usually don't talk about products, they talk about software. So, yes, new watch OS new tv yep. os uh new uh ios 18 and like you said i think the vision um os 2 was important we spoke about the product we debuted the product here we showed the product one of the yep. things was a drawback was like there's not many apps that are made specifically for it and so six months later here we are two thousand now two thousand yep. apps made for it you can see how sports is getting incorporated i still like the vision pro um yes it it hasn't taken over yet and I keyword yet, but those type of improvements are important. But their partnership with OpenAI is the biggest thing. Yeah, incredibly and, important. Because again, what we're looking for is what role will they play in artificial intelligence? And to have that as part of it is important. But now it comes into what comes into question is the partnership with Google, right? Because you're looking at two guys who might be your prime candidates for the dilemma, right? Like if he uses chat GBT as his search for everything, I'm using Google search, but if I have a partnership right onto my phone with open AI, do I even need Google search anymore? You're talking about yeah. $10 billion in revenue. Um, is it per quarter? I think it's per year for them to be the exclusive search engine. That yeah, per year, yeah. It, it, it hurts the, the, obviously it takes in some revenue. What is the, the numbers looking like for the partnership with open AI? These are big things. Uh, and so it's exciting to see, man. At, at least they're addressing it and they are aware of some of the issues that and the concerns, especially from that quote unquote Mag 7, where all mm -hmm. of them pretty much have said outside of, I guess we can take Tesla, outside of Tesla has said, here's how here's how artificial intelligence will play a role in the future guidance of our companies. Apple hasn't said anything. So obviously today was 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 a was a big moment for that. 